We have so many different theme parks in the UK with a lot of unique offerings, but how of all of them, the reason this is the best theme park in the UK is because it is. Thank you so much for watching. I thought today, instead of doing a generic top UK theme parks video, which I've never done before, I'd skip straight to number one and explain why the Alton Towers Resort is the best theme park in the UK. Subject to opinion, of course. Some of you out there might think Thought Park's the best park, or maybe even Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Mm, fair enough. Breen Leisure Park. You must be on something, mate. But thou shall explanatory thy correct opinion. Alton Towers is the best theme park in the UK. To discuss why I believe this, I'm going to group this video into different sections. So you may agree with some parts of it. And if you do, you should subscribe. And if you disagree with certain sections, guess what? <laughs> you should subscribe. And before we begin, what is that box, you may ask? As you can see, I have been sent a package. There's a note right here. Let me quickly read it. All about taking care of and asking some questions regarding what's inside here and if we slowly unravel the newspaper in there as you can see that is so cool it's a model of the smiler train as you can see i'm, I'm, I'm losing track of my camera look at that that is insane i'm trying i'm shaking a lot because i don't want to drop it because apparently it's very fragile but that is genuinely so cool like honestly thank you so much to oliver from roller coaster fine arts for sending this out if you want to buy your own go to his ebay shop you can buy it of course the most important part of the resort is the garden so peaceful so nice and quiet and translucent that's that's not the word so tranquil you can hear just the pitter patter of the water on the lake below the pagoda fountain and it serves as a nice break away from the rides in this country you cannot beat the alton towers coaster lineup you've got so many different rides and even if some of them aren't the best they're still all world's first and first of their kinds <laughs> except from you they're all really unique in their own way and you can't really compare one to another Although we can compare the fact that 13 has a better launch than Rita. You have the likes of Galactica, which is a relaxing and really nice sensation, alongside Nemesis, which is just an absolute monster until November the 6th. In its own area, we have the Wicker Man, which is absolutely beautiful and is debatably the best ride on park. Yeah, I said it. And of course, the Smiler and Oblivion, two very different rides, especially in length. One literally lasts about as long as it takes for the other one to get to the first lift hill. <laughs> there aren't just roller coasters though, there is a whole selection of dark rides too. Gangster Granny the ride exists in David Balliam's world, which in my opinion is better than Rise of the Resistance. Alongside the amazing Hex, The Legend of the Towers, and of course Jewel. <laughs> Wait a minute, and of course when talking about their ride lineup, we can't miss the fact there are hardly any water rides and hardly any permanent flat rides. But if you think about it, the park's already amazing, so if they added more of them, it would be even more amazing. But an important factor of this ride lineup is the fact that it caters to a wider audience. You have from the kiddie rides in CBB's land, like this absolutely goated ride aimed at toddlers, and then you've got the younger audience aimed at via 13 or Spimble Wizard, Wicker Man even, and then the thrill seekers get all the rest. But there are rides for everyone, just like there is food for everyone. What a terrible segue. The food at Alton Towers is exquisite, from the roller coaster restaurant to Woodcutters Bar and Grill, all the way down to the classic rollover hot dogs or loaded fries. Oh, the food may be good, but the drink is also amazing. Take a paper straw, walk to the pagoda fountain in the gondes, fill my, my mouth, mouth with that thick sweet juice. And also on top of the rides, the theming is some of the best in the country too. Like just take a look at 13, Nemesis even though it's just a hole in the ground, Wicker Man, it's just... <sighs> the park also has a huge range of hotels, despite the fact I know one of them, you're literally just sleeping in a wooden pod. It's still better than a shipping container. There is a lot of accommodation. Lo and behold, they'll probably add another one next year. And to add to everything I've already said, there is so much future development going on at that park. I've discussed it quite a few times in different videos, but honestly, it's amazing to see. As much as their last coaster was built in 2018, we should be getting a new one in a year and a half if you want to count the Nemesis retrack as a new ghost up. All of that and more is why I believe Alton Towers is the best theme park in the UK. Let the discussions and debates in the comments begin.